facing your former team, does that come into play or are you just really focused on getting a win? Uh, I won't lie, it's fun, you know, to to be talking to my ex-teammates and uh, knowing that uh, there is something else than three points in on the line. Uh, that is something that I don't like doing is uh, losing against my friends. I always say this when, when I'm about to play against Ossie Alonso. So uh, for me, it's uh, we're playing at home. We're playing a Cascadia match and uh, I'm ready to, to win this game. Does it matter in terms of where you get the ball in terms of the execution? Because you've been successful in the hold up play, you've also been successful inside the box. Does it matter to you or are you just more about wanting to get that goal? Well, it's about doing the taxes that the coach is asking me for. Uh, one, once uh, I am in the field, I am looking forward to help the team. Some cases I'm inside the box and I am good at finishing, but in this case uh, I'm going to play as a midfielder, as I've been doing it most of, the, of this uh, season, and I feel good. I mean, I'm helping the team, creating chances and have some possession of the ball and keeping the ball far away from our goal, so that's something that I'm looking forward to doing again. Freddie, in your preparation for Vancouver, what stands out for, for why they've been so good here recently over the last couple of months? Well, I think uh, they are playing with three in the back. Obviously, it's a team that they have uh, two, three very fast players on top. And counter attacks, they are being effective. And, and sometimes when teams, are, they, they don't have nothing to lose, they have no pressure and they perform better. So I think that's uh, what is happening right now with Vancouver White Cups. For you personally, when you're facing three at the back, for your position, you mentioned being more in the midfield this year, how does that change how you attack them when it's a three versus a four? Um, when it's four, we find more spaces. When it's three in the back, uh, I feel like we have a uh, one on one mark with one of the centre back, either for the right side or the left side. So it's going to require more mobility, it's going to require more. Uh, starting the game, knowing where are the spaces and uh, trying to be there. With uh, Danny um, Leva and, and Josh Atencio, um, kind of, I know you're new, so, but you to them, how have you seen though, their maturity kind of come along this season? Very well. I'm really impressed with both of them. Uh, Any time that they have to be in the field, it doesn't matter if they have to play 10 minutes, 45 minutes or 90 minutes. They always give the best and they, they show them that they are players with quality and they are you know, up for, for this big team. So I'm pretty sure that they have a bright future in, in front of them. Do you even see them as teenagers anymore? No, no. Honestly, they, uh, they have personalities now and we can see that in every single practice. So I'm happy for them. Regardless of uh, the change of coaching and the, the different team they are now, how much can you keep from the first meeting that you had and that 2 2 tie against Vancouver? Yeah, uh, back in in, uh, in the first game, obviously they play 4 4 2 and uh, they were struggling, you know, always trying to uh, come back from one or two goals. But something that they have changed lately is that they, they keep the tear in the back. They try to find, you know, in a corner kick or in a free kick, uh, trying to find that goal that is going to put them on top. But we are here in Seattle and that's not going to happen. We're going to press them since minute one and we're going to uh, play. We're going to bring all the energy and with the experience that we have, I'm pretty sure that this game is not going to be different than the other one. We want to win. start that streak in your first time in Seattle. What does it mean to you to have that opportunity again Well, it's been a while since uh, I play in the playoff, so I'm really excited to win this game and, and finally be there on the, on the playoff spot. But collectively, I mean, it's something that Seattle has to do every year. And uh, thank God we, we are close this year, uh, but the job is not done there. So we want to play for the first place, and that's what we are going to look for. What have you seen from Jao Paulo this year, um, just the way he's uh, kind of uh, helped the midfield out, especially with Nico Ladero not uh, able to play a whole lot this year? I see three letters, MVP. <laughs> what have you seen from him uh, on the field uh, as far as what he's been doing? Amazing. I mean, he scores goals. He takes free kicks, corner kicks. He gives assists. He has personality. He is teaching the kids. And he's listening to me, so I like that too. Uh, 
but are you surprised, not surprised, or what do you think, though, of that run of the uh, of qualifying for the playoffs, you know? Um, like, is that really impressive that to come back and see that that is still there, that level? Yes, uh, I like it. I, I feel blessed to be here because uh, nobody talks about making the playoff. We are always thinking on, you know, defending that first seed, first place. And it's something that it, it had to keep going. Uh, Seattle Sounders fans deserve a team that is always looking to win. And we show no less than this year. So we're there close to, to finalize that job. And uh, hopefully in the games to come, we, we get more victories and be in the first place. Freddy, conociendo a, a Dahomey como lo conoces y lo que puede traer Caicedo, ¿de qué forma se le puede limitar a esos dos jugadores? Son jugadores dinámicos y rápidos. Si le cortamos el espacio, obviamente se van a sentir frustrados. Uh, sabemos que son muy buenos en el uno contra uno. Uh, nuestros defensas también están pendientes de ellos. Y, y bueno, es un partido clásico, así que estoy seguro que vamos a salir con los, las botas puestas a pelear, a luchar. Y sabemos de que nuestra calidad va siempre a, a, a decidir si marcamos uno o dos o más goles. Obviamente hay una amistad con, con Dajam y otros sí. jugadores. ¿Qué tal esa parte enfrentando este partido? Sí, una amistad. Estamos hablando casi que uh, seguido. Pero como lo dije anteriormente, no me gusta perder con mis amigos. Y, y va a ser un, un partido donde uh, la rivalidad que hay entre Vancouver y, y Seattle se va a ver. Vamos a salir con mucha energía y a pelear por esos tres puntos. ¿Qué me puedes decir de tu química con uh, be, uh, Nicolás? Eh, y, y cómo trabajan ustedes juntos, cómo se han comunicado. Uh, bien, bien, un jugador con mucha dinámica, con mucho poder ofensivo en el uno contra uno. Uh, somos diferentes, ¿no? Por ahí a mí me gusta más la, la pelota al pie y él uh, tiene velocidad para ir al espacio y eso es lo que necesitamos uh, en determinadas partes del partido.